Yeah, welcome to uh, just a short uh, presentation on high resolution satellite imagery and why why we've got this option available. Uh, anytime, feel free to contact us on those emails or support at Data Farming if you have any issues uploading field boundaries or if you've got any qu questions. Um, so why do we need high resolution satellite imagery? Well, we've got a lot of uh, agronomists and farmers probably um, using real time satellite data for crop growth and, and to check the variability in that crop production. Um, really, that's primarily about checking for problem areas. That's what most farmers and agronomists use our data for. Um, you know, they want just want to help you know quickly target those areas that have got the most issues and, and, and go to them first to, to identify any problems. Um, also, with in crop tissue testing, if you are doing that, then I think it's almost a waste of time if you're not using some kind of uh, tool like satellite imagery to direct you where to take those samples because there is so much variability in paddocks that you really need to take that into account. Um, really need to be at least checking your highs and lows um, in terms of NDVI or biomass. Um, grab your samples from, from those locations. And we've, we've got a lot of agronomists to using our uh, imagery for in-crop nitrogen application, particularly in rice and uh, in-crop for wheat and barley. Um, and, and NDVI can give you a really good pointer to where to go to actually determine those rates. Uh, I would be very cautious about any uh, company offering in-crop nitrogen application from a satellite with no ground truthing or no uh, understanding of that field or the farmer because they uh, clearly don't fully understand agronomy, um, but there's a lot more things that can go wrong rather than just nitrogen. So be very careful about um, companies recommending nitrogen rates from satellite imagery. But what I'm saying is you can use this, use this to direct uh, where to sample and also to go on ground truth to and then put those rates back in to, to our zoning maps. Really good tool for that. Um, We've also had this year a lot of people using our imagery for determining the crop stage and, and sort of harvest and maturity timings, particularly around canola flowering and canola swath timings. Um, we've we've actually found a good relationship there where as NDVI approaches 0.4, um, it's about the right time to swath canola, but we need to do some more work in that area. But clearly, uh, even with rice, we've found great correlations with harvest moisture content and NDVI. So there's a lot of people using it for those kind of uses as well. And where you have things like uh, pH issues or, or sodicity, the use of gypsum and lime um, for soil amelioration, uh, the crop obviously tells you what's going on in terms of its, you know, its health and um, often that's related to, to poor, um, you know, soil constraints basically. So we have a lot of people using our data for for that as well. Um, the problem is that our free Sentinel satellite offering at 10 meter resolution is just not not enough to give great confidence when you're talking about high resolution. I mean, sorry, in more intensive crops like uh, vineyards, tree crops, you know, intensive horticulture, where you have bay irrigation, for example, just not enough definition. Um, but um, um, we're, we're also other irrigation is um, is is also where you don't get that enough definition. Like center pivots, for example, you can't see the 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 sprinkler pro problems when when you're talking about 10 meter data. And often people want multiple capture times during the key growth stages. And at, in the past, we used to have to buy like three and a half thousand dollars worth of imagery at each capture attempt. So what we've been able to do with the satellite companies is is, is offer <clears throat> a per hectare charge um, uh, for multiple captures um, for much lower prices than in the past. So for those of you who are aware, we, we offer free um, NDVI imaging from Sentinel every five days anywhere in the world, and that helps you target uh, the good and the bad areas, as, as you can see here. Uh, there's unhealthy areas and healthy areas. And we also provide uh, a cloud cover percentage so that you can actually check each image to make sure that you've got no cloud or cloud shadow over your images because that will impact on your NDVI. 
So you can jump on um, to data farming and, and get that data now. And the process is basically you just sign up. Uh, you go and add a farm, create a farm. You can either draw or upload your paddocks uh, from KML or Shapefile. And then instantly, once you click on that paddock, all the image dates will appear. You click on the NDVI and you'll get your data uh, in an instant. From there, this is where our paid products come in, but you can zone that uh, paddock for 40 cents a hectare um, and it smooths out the data, makes it more compatible for machines. And within no time, you can get that as a, as a shapefile, which you can upload to most new machines now will accept a shapefile. Um, so it's, it's a really straightforward process to get started in the whole journey of Precision Ag um, in, in under five minutes, basically, and it's free free to start, sign up and use in that in that instance um, um, up to the point where we do zoning and, and other products. Um, last season, we, we released this three metre resolution product. Um, it probably doesn't, you know, to most people, it doesn't look a lot different to the free 10 metre, but it does give you a little bit more extra confidence and a bit more uh, resolution where you might need it. The biggest thing is that it, this enabled, because it's been captured daily, uh, the, the, the three metre product, um, whilst we only provide 10 captures for $1.50 per hectare, um, the, the, the reality is we can get around cloud issues where the five daily imagery might not uh, have too many cloud free images. This will definitely open up the opportunity to get more images. Um, through the season for you. So a good broad acre price there, but not again, not really suited to the, your intensive horticulture. This is the product that you need for really intensive cropping. You can see the free 10 meter resolution on the left and the high resolution on the right. It's got 400 times more pixels and for $10 a hectare for at least three captures during the growing season. This is a great product for vineyards, tree crops, macadamias, you know, um, avocados, almonds, um, intensive crops like potatoes, uh, broccoli, those sort of things. So um, really, really good product and uh, fantastic value there because, you know, normally aerial imagery could be 25 bucks a hectare. So, um, you know, that's like four bucks an acre. So very, very good price. And we do have some minimum prices with all these products just to just to um, get just to get around um, some of those sort of underlying costs. But um, generally, um, good value there at ten dollars a hectare. Um, this is the latest product we've just launched. is one point five meter resolution. This is really good product for things like corn, cotton, rice, sugar cane, where we've got high biomass crops. We need a little bit more resolution, but we don't need the fifty centimeter. Um, for five less than five dollars a hectare, we can do three captures for you. Um, and what we've done here is a little bit different though. Instead of providing NDVI, which we've done on the other ones, is actually provide you with uh, what we call green cover. So it's the percent of uh, green that's covering the ground, the green crop. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't saturate as much as NDVI. For, the, for those that have used NDVI in the past, you'll know that in those high biomass crops, you actually get a saturation. And so as the crop gets quite big, the paddock looks the same, which doesn't help you when you want to try and discriminate those good and bad areas. So this new product really helps you still check for high and low areas um, and discriminates better at the top end. And I'll just provide a couple of examples of that now. This is some plots where we've plotted NDVI on the y-axis here, and that goes from zero to one, and the green cover index, which is the new index that we're offering. This is a cotton crop. And as you can see, as the as we get up into the higher end of NDVI, it's almost plateaus. So you're not seeing any difference um, in most areas of the paddock, which is a big problem when you want to go and sample or do in-crop application of nitrogen, for example. But the green cover here is still increasing. And that's really important. So we're still seeing differences in the green cover, even though the NDVI is pretty much flat lined out. Um, if we look at rice, it's exactly the same. It's actually probably a little bit worse. So, you, you, um, you know, rice, because it's such a big bulk, you know, like 10, 12 tonnes per hectare, it's sort of, um, we, we can have big problems um, with NDVI. And similarly in corn, again, same problems. We get this saturation, a levelling off of the data in NDVI, and that's where this green cover comes into its own. 
Anyway, any questions, email support at datafarming.com.au and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you.